ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, so I had to come on here and do a video about the whole Jesse Smollett situation. As you guys know from day numero uno, baby, I've been telling y'all that Jesse Street Meat Smollett was lying. Okay, I never bought his bullshit story. I knew fighting there was a second person involved who was kicking me in my back. And uh, then it just stopped. A lot of tech to determine that was a lie. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I told y'all on my live stream, he added way too much sauce to that damn story. Hence why many people gave him the side eye and he was eventually caught, okay? So yesterday, Chicago's police superintendent, they had a long press conference basically airing out everything that Jesse did from texting the brothers, asking them to help them. You know, they have his bank statements of the checks that Jesse wrote to the brothers to pay them for their involvement. So it's so much evidence against him. If you guys have not read the indictment, the report, it's a four page report. There's so much tea in there. To me, Jesse definitely comes off as slightly sociopathic. Even his mugshot with that smug grin, like he doesn't even understand the severity of what he's gotten himself into. And the fact that he would lie about something this serious to me is just disgusting. Because again, when you're talking about the black community and the L LGBT community, both communities are very marginalized. Um, you know, those in the LGBT community, they deal a lot with people harassing them, trying to beat them up. They deal with a lot of negativity. So when you're sitting here making up fake hate crimes, you're making it a lot worse for real victims of hate crime. You're making it a lot worse for people who have to deal with, you know, gay bashing and being attacked and being verbally abused. You make it hard for black people who have to deal with racial attacks. You know what I'm saying? So this situation that Jesse bought upon himself is going to affect both groups severely. And what I don't like is the excuses that people are trying to make for him, all these conspiracies conspiracies and everything else people are saying you know folks need to stop being mean to him folks need to stop dragging him no he's no different than anybody else when people fuck up they get memed to death they turn into gifts people roast them okay where's all these tears for r kelly people are making memes about r kelly roasting him day in and out and y'all's not crying about that shit so in my personal opinion jesse gets no sympathy from me okay he deserves to be drugged by the internet for the fuck shit that he perpetuated okay so now on top of that, they're saying that he did this because he was dissatisfied with the salary that he was making on Empire. I'm confused, okay? From what people were saying in my comment section, Jussie makes $65,000 an episode. They shot him in 18 episodes. So that equates to about $5 million a year. How is that not enough money when you have actors out here in LA who are sitting here putting in work and they're getting paid pennies? They're literally getting paid in craft services and you're making $65,000 an episode and you're trying to have the audacity to say that that's not enough money? So now because of your greed, because of your attention, Horn, because of your sociopathic behavior, you've now been fired from Empire. Before, when I told y'all the other day that they were, you know, rewriting some of the scripts, now that all this has come out, now that he's being charged with a felony, they have taken Jamal Lyons, lion ass, okay, Mr. Street Meat, they've taken him completely out of empire he's been written off altogether so you don't went from making five million a year to not making a damn thing a year you know and then you got folks coming out like tyler perry you know and i respect tyler perry i love the work that he puts in i respect him as a director and as an actor but let's not make excuses let's stop with the deflections you know tyler's saying well i wish the media would pay more attention to these two missing guys like they were paying attention to jesse smollett well jesse smollett brought this attention to himself you can't bring attention to yourself and then once it goes viral you have no control of how people react to that it's like people are trying to find every excuse to blame other people for Jussie's actions how about we blame the person who's behind all this fuckery Jussie nobody told him to make this up nobody told him to mail himself that damn silence of the lamb letter nobody told him to ask these two nigerian brothers to jump him you know he plotted all this himself now i'm not saying there may not be other people who are higher up involved <coughs> 
Kamala Harris, you know, who tried to play crazy the other day and act like she didn't send out that tweet that we talked about in the live stream. Check this out. Which tweet? What tweet? Uh, the, about uh, saying that it is a modern day lynching that, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> Jesse Smollett. Um, I, I, okay, so, uh, Now all of a sudden Kamala Harris don't know shit, okay? Has anybody heard or seen from Lee Daniels, okay? Y'all remember Lee Daniels? Josie, Josie, you are my son. Well, why ain't he speaking out about his son now? Lee Daniels is quiet as hell. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he had something to do with this, if he encouraged this fuck shit. But it's funny that a lot of the folks, you know, who are all riling behind him, you know, they're not either trying to deflect and make excuses or they're just damn silent, okay? Damn near the whole cast of Empire has not said anything. Gabrae Sidibe said something the other day and basically she's taken up for him and saying she knows him and he would never do anything like this. Girl, bye. You never truly know people, okay? I'm sure, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer's parents thought they knew his ass too but guess what he was eating all types of gay men okay they didn't expect that shit so you never truly know anybody okay so this entire situation is crazy but i will say this like i said today on instagram even though Jussie fucked up, even though Mr. Street Meat is a damn attention whore, they're now saying that the feds are also looking to charge him and that he could be looking at anywhere from 10 to 20 years. Now, this to me is very, very scary, okay? It's one thing to do something stupid like this. Granted, an innocent person from, you know, MAGA country or innocent white person could have been arrested and, you know, charged with this. Innocent people could have been affected by his shenanigans, but the police even admitted that within 24 hours, 48 hours, they knew his story was bullshit, but they wanted to really thoroughly investigate so nobody could accuse them of racism or homophobia and things like that that I discussed in my live stream. But now this other guy is saying that he can be charged federally. And if he's charged federally, he's going to be looking at big time. So this is really scary. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Could offer up in terms of all the resources that were put into this. Your thoughts on that, sir? Well, a couple of things. First of all, the chief uh, is spot on, but that's only partial. That would only be a little bit of it. I think the true justice here, Dana, is what we're going to see is called the federal nightmare. He's going to be moving into the federal twilight zone where he's going to learn that every single time he lied, to the Chicago detectives, to the state attorney, and to the FBI, and in public record, open source, is a separate standing federal felony. He's also going to learn about the Patriot Act and what sending self-mailing white powder with anonymous, anonymous and threatening letter translates into a violation of the federal felony of terroristic act. And that's where the time will come in. This little disorderly conduct by the state, he might do a year, nine months, but we're talking 10, 20 years on the federal side. He's going into the federal nightmare zone. He will be glued but, but, to the Department of Justice for the rest of his of... life. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what that man said. And like I stated on Instagram, I think 10 to 20 years is definitely excessive, okay? I don't agree with what he did. He deserves to be roasted, drug, clowned, you know, parodied, all that shit. But I don't think he deserves 10 to 20 years. Like, let's, let's keep it real. Nobody died, okay? You have folks out here who have killed people who haven't gotten 20 years. So I don't think he should be looking at that much time, but I do believe he should be punished. I think a year in prison, maybe two years, will suffice. Even maybe a few months, but 10 to 20 years for this bullshit I don't think it's that serious. I don't want to see this young man go to jail for 10 to 20 years. I'm not a fan of him anymore. I don't want to see anybody do that much time. But I do feel like they do need to make an example out of him. But it needs to be fair. You know, one to two years, I can get. 10 to 20, hell no. Especially when you got folks like who have lied about rape. They've lied about all types of shit. And they've literally gotten a slap on the wrist. He does not deserve 10 to 20 years. But I will say this. The sad part about this whole Jesse Smollett case, and thank you to those who have apologized to me, it means a lot because I was really attacked. 
I was attacked. I got a lot of nasty messages, DMs. People call me homophobic just because I questioned the narrative. And like I stated in my live stream, what I want to come from all of this is that we all become more critical thinkers, is that we don't just take a mainstream narrative story that's being pushed and then run with it. We need to stop running on emotions and start looking at the facts and start breaking things down. Okay, people who are critical, we're not saying that because we were homophobic. We were not saying that because we were racist. We we're saying it because the story just did not make sense. The pieces did not fit. Okay, so that's what I want to come from all of this is that we become more critical thinkers and that we don't run on emotion based off of any story just because a celebrity is attached to it. What Jesse did was selfish and he did this for his own selfish gain. He didn't care about those two brothers and their well-being when he asked them to participate in the fuckery. He didn't care about his family and their family name now being soiled. He didn't care about Empire and his other castmates who are now going to be affected by this. You know what I'm saying? This whole show, honestly, is going to turn a lot of people off from watching Empire in general. He didn't think about any of these people. He only cared about Jussie. He abused his own celebrity to gain fame and notoriety and attention, and he fucked up in the process. Jesse didn't have to do any of this. A lot of people respected him. Like I said in my previous videos, he's never been problematic. We've never had an issue with Jesse. I've never done a story on Jesse until this, until this situation. So he could have used his celebrity, his fame, his power, his prestige to really do things positive to help the gay community, to really do things positive to help black people. But instead, he wanted to be an attention whore. He wanted to get into the good graces of Kamala Harris and other people. And that's really sad. It's really sad that now that he's finding himself in this situation, he's by himself. These same folks that he was trying to appease, that he was trying to get a pat on the back from, they've all left him basically high in dry like I said Lee Daniels hasn't said shit Kamala Harris is out here stuttering and bumbling over her words you know so this entire situation is just really insane it's gonna be very interesting to see how everything plays out it's gonna be interesting to see what type of time that he ends up getting like I said I do not agree with him getting 10 to 20 years that's way too excessive for what he's done but he definitely should be punished so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this entire crazy situation One once again, concerning Jesse Smollett, him getting caught up, charged with the felony. And then on top of that, now he's been completely written off of Empire. And the reason why he did this was because he was mad about his pay. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? And then do you agree with me? Do you feel like, you know, him getting 10 to 20 years is too excessive? Or do you feel like, you know what? He did it. He put himself in that situation. Oh, well, he should get it whatever time they decide to throw at him. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. What happened that night, Chessie? Y'all bet not try it. I did not hire them brothers to jump me. It was cold out there in the street. Fought back by grabbing their cheeks. I can't deny it. I got excited when them Africans grabbed me. 